Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia and if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below. Today I wanted to share with you how I lost over 35 pounds in the span of three months over the summer. And I did it without dieting or exercising. Um, I thought these tips would be very good for people who are trying to lose weight right now and do not have the time to exercise or have the like in their budget to diet and buy healthy food choices. So let me give you a, like a background story about how I gained all the weight that I did. So it was freshman year of college. I gained more than the freshman 15. I gained actually 20, 25 pounds. And I was at my biggest, I was about, I reached 175. I was at my absolute biggest. Right now I'm about 150. I did gain weight, but over that time span, I lost about 35 pounds. Um, <clears throat> and all I did was intermittent fasting. So, a lot of people might not like what... I did to lose the weight but to clarify I am NOT a dietitian I am NOT a nutritionist I'm just sharing with you how I lost the weight that I did and intermittent fasting is proven to be healthy for you and a lot of research that has been done on intermittent fasting so I did intermittent fasting and um, before I found out about intermittent fasting I would try the diet and exercise thing but it wasn't really working out for me my schedule was so busy I was taking summer classes I I was broke I did not have money to buy healthy groceries and honestly I was just lazy to be honest and I was just researching how to lose weight quickly because I wanted to be tight and right for um the next upcoming semester and I want to be I wanted to be light like I was so heavy like I felt like I didn't have enough energy for anything and losing weight I thought would help me and it did and it really um it really changed me it made me more confident and intermittent fasting was extremely easy for me but in the beginning it was a little bit hard and I had to control how I thought so if my brain so my body wasn't really hungry it was just my brain telling me that I need to eat because I was eating very very frequently when I um, gained the 25 more 25 plus pounds that I did um, so a little bit of, a little about intermittent fasting is, I'll give you the information and how I did it. So intermittent fasting is just a period window of where you can eat and where you fast. So I fasted, well, every day I fasted a different, a different time. Like sometimes I would do 16, 8, sometimes, sometimes I would do 17, 7, and sometimes I would do 21, 3. That was the most extreme that I did, um, but obviously you have to start low and build up so you can get more comfortable with intermittent fasting and build up your um, endurance with fasting. So basically I was eating exactly what I, not exactly, but I was eating like I did before but just in a specific amount of time. And I cut my calories down also. So I was eating about 1,500, 1,000, around 1,300, 1,500 calories each day. And I was, the first time I started, it was, um, I did the 16-8. So I, I fasted for 16 hours and I ate for eight hours. So I started at 12 p.m. and I ended my eating time at 8 p.m. And I did that for about two weeks, and then I progressed to the 17-7. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> I'm so out of breath. So, um, yeah, I started I started at 16-8, and then I worked my way up. And I was losing the, like, I was losing weight. Like, it was nothing. I will insert some pictures and some of the weeks after I started intermittent, fa intermittent fasting. 
Like you can dramatically see the difference in my stomach. If you watched my morning routine, you would see where I was and you would get why I'm making the why I'm making this video now. But the difference between then and now, not me. Like you wouldn't even think that was me. Like I didn't realize how big I got until I looked back. Like you know what I mean? Like I didn't think I let myself go to that extent. And I just I was depressed. I was I was sad all the time. I didn't want to go out. My clothes wasn't fitting me. I just felt gross and I had no energy. I'm not saying if you're bigger that you need to lose weight and you're not pretty, you're not beautiful. Everyone's beautiful. Everyone thinks that they're beautiful at a certain size and you're beautiful no matter what. I'm just saying I didn't feel like I was at my best at that weight that I was at before. But right now, I'm more confident, I'm more, so, not social, because I'm really anti-social. I like to be by myself, I like my space. But um, I am more confident, I have more energy. And when I was doing intermittent fasting, I wasn't, I didn't lose energy at all. I actually had a lot of energy. I don't know why, but I don't, because you're not eating for a certain period of amount of time. You would think that you don't have enough energy to do anything, but I did. And I still completed the task that I needed to do that day or when I was intermittent fasting. But um, that's just the gist of it. I'm not going to go into detail because a lot of people have their own opinions on intermittent fasting. And I don't want to, you know, push any buttons. I'm just saying this is what I did so I could lose the 35 pounds that I did in that short amount of time. And it's pretty healthy. It's proven to help with diabetes, cholesterol levels, blood pressure. Um, it's proven to help a lot of different things. I still incorporate it into my daily routine um, sometimes, but um, at this time I'm trying to, but I don't know. I think I was more determined when I was that overweight and I was I just wasn't feeling happy right now. I'm I'm happy with my body, but um I still want to make improvements. I've been going to the gym, lifting weights, trying to tone up my body. So, I'm not really doing intermittent fasting as frequently as I was because I'm at a point where I'm comfortable and I'm just trying to tone up. I'm not trying to really lose any weight per se. So, that is what I did. Um if you have any more questions, leave a comment down below, email me, um, feel free to ask me any questions. I am very good at answering comments and I love when you guys comment and interact with me on my videos. It makes me really happy that somebody actually watches my videos. And please subscribe if you have not already and leave a thumbs up if you have not. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.